I was interested in and enjoyed, which was um, in the pet niche. And um, one of my very first decisions was, even though it was going to be more expensive, was to source and find uh, Australian-made products that I could private label. And that was sort of where it all started. And the first product was my dog back then was allergic to the world. And I was researching a product that I could use on a shampoo that um, would be kind and gentle to his um, skin condition. And it is and it was and it works great. So it was a interesting journey like, how do you say, I found the uh, producer of the product that I wanted and they were private label friendly um, and based here on the Sunshine Coast, which was a bonus. Um, yeah, so local, dealing with local is always good. And um, so far I've had great service from them and, um, yeah, just sort of struggled through with Amazon as best I could. That's actually um, a really great thing that you just said there. You essentially uh, found a problem that you had, right? There was a problem that you needed to actually solve with your dog and then you essentially solved that and that became the product. And and that's actually a, a very, uh, it's a great way of actually finding products. So if you if there's, if you go about your day and there's something that you feel like you can actually improve, whether it's a product of some sort, then it's actually a really, really good way of, of um, you know, creating that product. So where do you find your sales? I mean, where do you usually promote or market your particular product? Um, right until two years ago, I was uh, for about three years doing markets on a Saturday, um, which was really useful in identifying the type of customer that I had and what they were after. Built up a very loyal clientele there and sort of ended up with my little spot as a weekly, you know, booking. Um, yeah, and they do other special events or like Bark Tober and things like that, um, special doggy events. Okay. So we've sort of had a bit of fun there as well. And a lot of them were really, really impressed with the fact that it was Australian sourced and made and um, none of the foreign stuff, so to speak. Um, so using my sort of dodgy built website of my own, um, which I'm, you know, there's room for improvement there for sure, but it's the best I could do. Um, I do get sales through that as well. And um, I've got some really loyal customers um, both through that and actually also through Amazon. I've had some people do repeat orders for three years in a row. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie online entrepreneurs. We are a community of two and a half thousand members and growing. We're the fastest growing community of professional e-commerce sellers uh, right here in Australia. Uh, with sales, by the way, of over $50 million. $50 million, holy crap. If you'd like to find out more about what we do and how we can help you build your own e-commerce business too, get off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link for that is in the description. And thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.